everybody how's it going this is doctor who this is season 25 and this is part one of the greatest show in the galaxy this is the final story of this season and that is scary because i think next season's what like 13 episodes and then there's just the movie so like we're getting to the end and this is mental it's literally like nearly three years of this and it's just it's weird to think that you know suddenly it's going to stop and i don't know what i'm going to do with my time afterwards to be honest so look forward to this one because this greatest show in the galaxy i'm wondering what this show is going to be is it going to be like a music concert is it going to be like i don't know like some kind of circus thing i hope not because i'm not a fan of circuses i hear anything like that so i'm hoping it's not something along those lines or it could be something that completely takes me by surprise that i would just never expect so i'm really looking forward to watching this one i'm just going to get straight on into this so let's go now welcome folks i'm sure you'd like to know we're at the start of one big circus show there are actually cool and actually made some what the hell is going on actual days acts of all kind and you can count on that from folks that fly to disappearing acts there are lots of surprises for the family and the greatest show in the galaxy so many strange surprises i'm prepared to bet whatever you've seen before you ain't seen nothing yet. what a weird yes, opening sir. episode yes. you see my isn't it in your rucksack yeah but where's my rucksack interesting question <laughs> things don't just <gasps> vanish no I'm sorry, but What's what is going on? What peculiar noise? What peculiar noise? I don't hear any peculiar. How extraordinary. What? It's, like it's got solar panels. It's the thing you'd expect to see in this part of the galaxy. <laughs> also, that jacket. Is that just what you'd expect too, Professor? Oh, Who's with... I know, I know that jacket know. from somewhere. Yes, Mel? it's festival time at the Psychic Circus, the greatest show in the galaxy. So why not come along and have the time of your life with the non-stop action of its glittering circus ring? This big prize is... Oh, no, I don't believe it. Junk mail. No we used to get mounds and stuff in the letterbox. And now you're being bombarded with it inside the TARDIS. Yes, yeah, junk mail. Oh, whether you want to compete, there's a great time what for you the on the second axe. And it has easy access for our special poly portable landing bay. This is mad. Nice. I thought you'd been interested in the circus. No. No, kid stuff. Cruel. Not once. Didn't even have any tigers. It was That's nothing. good. It was boring. Apart from the clowns, of course. Oh, you found that funny? No. Scary. Creepy. Scared. What? Scared to come to the psychic circus? No. Scared to take part? No, of course not. Oh god. I don't like that people are able to do this. Junk mail that talks back. Well, shall we just flick it away and forget about it? His little smiles as well aren't helping it's ease me. It's just advice to get us to go. Okay. You win, junk box. I'm not scared of anything. Oh, catch us, I know it. Looks like he works in a box office. Oh, bellboy, please. You promised. You know it's down to us now. We're the only ones left to fight. Come on. Because this is a psychic circus, what else are they doing to people via this psychic ability? Oh, it's like ashes to ashes. What? Are they following the people? Oh! Oh, look! Your kite! Your beautiful kite! It's a nice location, this. So this is Segonax. Oh. Oh, we had to manage that. We've been that to expect. Still, I've had good reports of the friendliness of the natives. I don't see this landing base, Professor. Oh, I expect that's for those not fortunate enough to possess a TARDIS. Good afternoon. I'm the doctor <laughs> as my friend is. What sort of costume do you call that? I don't understand. And hers is no better. We don't want your type around here. Ah, and um, oh. what type might that be? Weirdos. You can tell them at a glance, you know. Friendly natives, eh, Professor? Let's not be hasty. Mm. Kites will track us forever. One of us must get there. I want you to have this. What is it, a Horman device? Thanks. I'll wait here a while and see if I can find a longer route round. I have to draw them after me. 
No silly risks now. Go on. Out of lusting. It's me! Bellboy! Who you're looking for is an end! What are you I don't know! For? I think they might be after the woman! Come on! I'm I'm sure you will have gathered by now, dear lady. We're not the kind of hobbledy hoys and vagabonds you take such exception to. Indeed, as I said before, I'm known as the doctor. Some people will call themselves anything. Yes, we're looking for. Here comes another one of your lot. Need a hand? I reckon it could be a stuck bow. Get lost. That's a great fight. Go on up it before I get angry. Well, you don't want to save yourself some time, and it's up to you. Of course, it could be. She's very handy. Get is it? lost, or I'll do something horrible to your ears. Cut them off. Now your big end goes. They all go there, you know. Where? The, the circus. circus. Everyone ends up to no good goes there. We locals wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. Oh, did she not see that person? Oh, it's clown man, isn't it? Ah, hold tight, please. Oh, is he a robot? Like a nice walk in the countryside. And this is nothing like a nice walk in the countryside. Oh. Well, it could be worse. You'd be carrying that heavy rucksack. Oh, you might be about to get run over. What's it Look out! I'd have pulled her forward, not pushed her back. You seem to be in rather a hurry, looking for customers. Greetings. I'm the doctor, and this is my friend Ace. And I am Captain Cook, the eminent intergalactic explorer. You haven't heard of me, old boy. <laughs> and I am Mags. Where do I park for the gig at a psychic circus? <laughs> that way. Oh. Why bother to come here? Well, I'm told the circus. psychic circus is quite an interesting little show, particularly at this time when everybody turns up to compete in the festival. Yes. Besides, she wanted to come. You often travel together? Of late, yes. I found her on the planet Bullpan. That's between you and me, old boy. She's rather an unusual little specimen. Of what? Uh, that will be telling, old boy. <laughs> what about you? I think Volpard is a clue. <laughs> specimen of anything. Keep a shirt on, Doctor. Everything's a specimen of something. I take that robot over there, for example. What do you reckon, Professor? Well, I suppose it was buried for some good reason. Well, maybe we'll find yeah. out what the reason was. I love how he uses his trolley to open it. Remarkable. Don't often see one like that, do you? I've seen ones like this quite often enough. Thank you very much. Do something! I've got it! The fact that that stopped it is well, amazing. Well. <laughs> or tea. Oh! Excuse me. You can't lie. Oh, down shit. There. Oh. <gasps> Lost. Where's the girl? She'll have reached there by now. If she has, she'll regret it. The bus? Is there no Was she not meant to go to the bus? It's obviously some sort of shrine. I saw one much like this at Dioscuros. Once. Shrine or not? Feeling something sinister happened here. Well, 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 this is quite something. Wonder if it still goes. Yes. Now the one I saw on base wouldn't. Any more fares, please? Any more fares? No standing inside. Hold tight, oh. please. It wasn't the clown man. Hey, I say. Steady on, old chap. Very steady on. Hold on tight. Ding, ding. Uh, you've got the wrong old boy. He's playing affairs, not me. If I might take a look at that ticket machine of yours. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. 
just the ticket. I think the poor robot had just gone mad doing its job. Were those people on that poster hanging? What have you done? Not nearly enough. We need him. He'll have to be punished, Morgana. Oh, I don't like that. Of all the names. Child? No. Flower child. Where is she? I still think she may have escaped. Not having a good time in there. No! Hear what? That screaming. Oh! Is it because she's got the thing on? Oh God, he muted her. I hear anything. I was sure. I was... Oh, you're just making excuses because you don't like circuses. That's not what it is. Well, are we going in or aren't we? This is interesting. Like, at the start, I said I really wouldn't want this to be a circus because I hate seeing anything, like, with animals and stuff in, like, that kind of situation. But uh, considering we've seen no animals, I think the people, these, like, vagabonds that are turning up that this woman hit, <laughs> maybe the animals in this situation, and they're clearly doing something to the people that are turning up because we saw that bus. We saw how the ticket robot had gone a little bit mad. And we've got this Captain Cook here as well who has been enticed to come here like the doctor is not so much because she didn't really want to come here and i can understand why because i hate the circus and knowing that we've got this lady called mags and her screaming because she's seen something happening to bellboy but we not seeing that we're also not seeing an audience but we're hearing an audience it's just creepy the opening of this took me by surprise <laughs> i didn't expect that at all but the doctor's right there's something massively sinister going on here and i don't trust any of it it. like what is the purpose of this what are these clowns doing the clowns are very ashes to ashes like and i'm just sat here thinking oh my god this is just like looking at the front of a bowie album <laughs> like what is going on like i'm so intrigued but confused by this at the same time I'm gonna go watch part two and i will see you guys later so thank you